What's going on today, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm going to be after this. I think I've solved where the leak was on this jet ski. So we're going to work on that today and get the shell. Well, I already got the shell already taken off because I think that in the back, it's not quite seated right. The previous owner went through and took the screws and just ran them in and it completely stripped it out so there's nothing holding it. Well, I've gone ahead and got some rib nuts with some, some stainless steel rib nuts and we're gonna go ahead and install those in the hole so that it will actually have something to bite into and actually pull it down on the gasket because we're having water issues and it's just, I, I can't seem to get ahead of the water. And the bilge system isn't pulling out fast enough as the water's coming in. But it's only when we have two people riding on it so I'm thinking that it's coming up over the back and underneath the two shells. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, as you can see, it's super loose. Nothing's really holding it on. The bolts all came out with screwdrivers and they just pulled right out. So there's nothing really holding it in. There's just dowels at that point. So we've got the uh, two halves taken apart. There's tons of videos on it online. It's pretty easy. All the bolts around the outside and then the steering cable. There's bolts holding the fuel nozzle in that I always seem to forget but then you can go ahead, lift it up, and then I just set it on the front of the ski. So there's your fuel tank. So I just set it on the front, kind of diagonal, and it's the best little holding spot for it, I guess. So we're working on the back here, getting the rib nuts installed, um, drilling them out. I think I've got an 11 30 seconds. Yeah, 11 30 seconds drill bit that I'm drilling it out. Got inch and a quarter rib nuts that we will put in there, inch and a quarter by 20. And then we've got multiple sizes of bolts. I thought I was gonna need a lot more than I was. Totally forgot that the side, these side ones right here on both sides, they actually go all the way through. So I don't need to rib nut them that go all the way through. It's just the ones that are basically going into the white right here that I'm gonna have troubles with. Now there's blocks of what was holding or this is what was supposed to be holding the bolts in there well it's not anymore they're completely stripped out and they just don't do anything so taking a screwdriver and they're sitting in there like this kind of pop them out they come right out and then it makes it so i can actually install that rib nut where i need to so we'll go ahead start getting to work on this i guess start popping all these guys out that I can and get ready for rib nuts. So this is hopefully what it's gonna look like when it's all done. So I've gone ahead, drilled this hole. Here's my rib nut and I'm gonna go ahead, put my rib nut in. Now it makes a nice tight seal, which is what I want. Now, I think I might try to get washers on the back of that just to give it a little extra, but right now I don't. I don't know if I can get enough material behind it and work the rib nut up there. We'll see. I'm gonna, I got washers coming tomorrow. They're 3 8 washers. They should fit right around this. And I should be able to get them in there. I'll play with it tomorrow and keep you updated. But let's get the rest of them drilled out and installed and ready for parts to come in tomorrow. Well, I'm really glad that I waited because the washers just came in and they're a giant waste of time. So I went and grabbed the M8s trying to make sure that it was right. The M10s were too big. The M8s were too small. So I drilled them out, made sure that they would just barely fit over the um, nut cert, the rib nut, and it doesn't even, it, it won't even clinch on to the washer because the plastic's already too big or too thick so we just canceled it all and we're just going straight to the plastic and praying so 
we've gone ahead i did some learning on the first one i pulled the first one right through and it was just a mess i've done a couple to try to learn now i think i've got a process that i can actually show someone and teach you something and not just feed you bs so we're gonna go ahead i've done a couple i'll go over what i've done and uh we'll go ahead and go through probably a couple more on the front so i've already got the back half pretty well done i've got the back yeah i actually i do have all the back done so i tried this one first and did some learning with you don't want to pull it all the way through because it will it will pull through the plastic but i mean that thing is not going anywhere it is solid in there every one of them is pretty nice and tight so without the washer it should be fine as long as i don't over torque it and this should have enough flex in it that is going to kind of stay with the upper shell so i yeah i have a sneaking suspicion like these two might pull out but other than that they should stay in these ones are in not a super high stress area and then the sides will all be the through bolt with the nut and um, nylock on the back of it. So we'll go ahead, let's move this giant shell to the back and then work on the front ones getting those were nutted in. And then we can put this thing back on. While we're at it, let's see if I can actually show you what the rib nut looks like on the back side. So here we go. So the block out is actually where these blocks sit. These blocks sit in there, and this is what's supposed to be the nut of these screws, which are very, very coarse, that sit in there. So yes, I could just get some bigger screws, but then what's the point of getting the bigger screws? that's just gonna happen again no matter what. So I could have went that route. I'm choosing to try to go this route. If this route fails, I'm gonna keep all of these little guys so I can, I mean, I have a backup plan to fail safe. My other thought was, was to grab a nut cert. So this goes in like this with the big side up. Grab a nut cert and put it in the bottom and that way the bolt will come from the top and come through. But I have no way of keeping this from spinning. So if it ever gets too tight, it'll just spin. I tried to uh, tighten a, a rib nut in here. Completely split this, actually this one. Split it completely in half. You can kind of see the giant crack in there. Yeah, it split it in half. So that was a no-go. But we've got options if this fails. It's not going to fail. It's going to do great. So from the inside looking up, this is where the mounting side is. This is the top. This is the inside. So you can see the little black pins that are kind of hanging out right there. That black pin needs to slide out. Now, most times they come out with finger. There you go. Came out. Now let's get this one out. If they don't come out with your finger, grab a screwdriver and just pop them out. Just like that. Now we got both of them out. Let's go ahead and get the other th three out. 11 30 seconds drill bit. We'll take this on over and drill all these holes out. So now these little rib nuts will go in next. They're a little bit tight on that 11, 30 seconds uh, drill bit. So it takes a little finesse, but I'd rather have it a little bit too tight than too loose because the actual area where this thing is, is um, tightening down is very, very small. So it's half of what the thread is right there. So those threads, Half of that is what is actually biting on. And that's why I couldn't get the washer on the back because the plastic's already more than half of these thick. So let's go ahead, 
we'll stab all these guys in and then start doing the rib nut stuff. Now it's pretty crucial that these things sit as flat as they can, as down far as they can. So clean all the edges up, get all those burrs out of the way, and then we'll just take a the rib nut machine and actually force it down to make sure that it's down as far as it can be and get as much uh, mechanical advantage on it as we can. Now I learned a lesson. You don't want to close these all the way because it will pull that through. So we'll just go ahead and do probably 80% of it. Let's call that good. Now that thing's going nowhere. Next one. So after doing this for a couple times, I kind of got a feel of where it needs to be. This thing does come with a little depth gauge on it. I don't know, it, it works okay. I just figured it out from the first two that, whoa, hey, we don't need to go this far. But we've got three of them in, two left to do. So here's what it should look like before. You can see how it's nice and smooth in there. That piece will come back out. Now this one kind of has some shoulders on it at the top. Those shoulders are what's gonna hold it actually in. This one you can see a little bit better. That shoulder is what's pinched or bound up in this plastic now. So it won't turn, it won't go up and down, and it should hopefully be able to hold the nut in. So in theory, this should hold just as good as a nut, especially as good as the plastic piece that's underneath it. We're hoping so. I honestly don't know if that's a serviceable part or a part you can get for those screws. I'm assuming it is. I should look that up and make sure, but right now this seems like the best bet for me so I don't have it happen again because I'm having troubles with the shell sealing. Getting a lot of water into the hole I, th I think it's through the back. So I really want to make sure that that's where we're sealed up as good as we can be. Awesome. I got the whole back put together. It's a little bit tough with one person, but manageable. Don't forget the steering cable and don't forget the power connector because it, it happens. The power connector you can at least get through when you're done, but that steering cable, if you don't get it on while it's loose, it won't go on. So Note to the wise. Now, I've already gone ahead and I've done the stainless steel top nut um, delete install. I don't know what it is. So, let's go ahead. We'll put all these stainless steel parts in and all the new bolts, stainless bolts, in all these holes that we've got and see if this makes a difference because I think that this gap right here is what's causing me problems on where this leak is coming from. So let's go ahead and get everything installed and tightened down and hopefully get to work on this thing. I also picked up a bunch of longer screws so I can go through the side. That way I'll, I all, to take the top deck off, I don't have to have two screws or screwdrivers, screwdrivers, a Torx bit and an Allen key. So I can just do an Allen going all the way around. So hopefully Hopefully those will be the right ones. So for reference, this is the OEM stuff. You've got the sharp bolt here with the cheap plastic. Now this is the only good one I have left and it is haggard. And then the plastic nuts, so plastic on plastic with a bolt with a really coarse thread doesn't fare well over time. Now I've changed it to stainless bolts, stainless washers up top, and stainless nut certs. We'll see how long these nut certs last. I'm hoping that they last me a while. I'm not super excited about the amount of catch that it has. I should have got the ones with the longer that have a lot more grip strength on them because it's like, this is good to about two to three millimeters and I measure out to be 5.9. So we've got a lot of meat in there that's not really clamping on anything is more exploding the plastic out than anything so hopefully that will stay if not i'll have to find longer um throws for these the, the bigger grip but for right now 
it's going to be heaps better than the plastic. I can't see that not lasting as long as this plastic piece or longer. So we'll see. Now it's definitely tougher to do it this way, but you're going to want to do it by hand and with some anti-seize, just throw a little bit on the, on the bolts there. Stainless on stainless, it's never a gug combination. Anti-seize is going to be your friend. Go ahead, put that in slow. Heat, as soon as heat gets into stainless, it becomes a problem. So just go slow, do it by hand. And that way you don't over torque it too. Heaven forbid if we were in the same situation we were when we started this project. So get it torqued down just a little bit, go through each one. I've already got all the rest of these kind of in there. This has made a huge difference in the rear gap. This white rear deck lid was caving in. And I think that's my problem is once it got weight on it, some water weight sat in the back of the water when it was kind of wheeling it out. That water weight would push this down and it would just go in between those two, um, the upper deck and then the, the hole. So I believe that's gonna be a world of difference. It's already, you can tell it's sitting a lot nicer on this rear part. So back's done. Let's scoot on up to the front. We'll finish the front ones and I got a couple beauty pieces on and a seat and we'll call it a day. Well, if you made it this far, thank you guys all for staying here and watching and hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, hopefully I don't have to learn the hard way on not having enough throw on those rib nuts, but only time will tell. They went on there really smooth. They actually tightened down harder than the one that I had that was still good, um, not stripped out. So. Um, I didn't really crank on them, but they definitely did seat down and that's all I needed from them. So cool. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to enjoy my night now that it's dark out. I'm going to enjoy my night and then hopefully we can take these things out tomorrow. We can check it out. So hopefully we don't have any more leaks because it's been a pain in the butt trying to find the leak on this thing and it's just non-existent. It feels like can't find out where it's at, but it's there because it's always full of water. It's not a whole bunch, but it is enough to be annoying. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. You enjoy your day. I'm going to enjoy mine, what's left of my sleep, and hopefully I can enjoy tomorrow. So take it easy, everyone. Peace. The washers just came in, and they're a giant waste of time.